Welcome back to Heritage at Home. And we speak peace over you. We speak the goodness of God over you. And I believe that you are going to see the goodness of God in the land of the living. That was the heart cry of David, a man after God's own heart, is that he would see God's goodness in the land of the living. In the midst of when David said that and decreed that in Psalms 27, he was decreeing that from a position where he had enemies all about him. That, that in the midst of being surrounded by enemies, that he had this hope that he had in God. And he believed he, that he would see the goodness of God in the land of the living. And I want you to hold on to that same, that same hope, that you will see God's goodness in the land of the living. You see, when you have the Word of God on the inside of you, that should paint a picture on the inside of your heart. David knew what he had a right to. David was a covenant man, so he knew the promises of God. And those things were solidified in his heart in such a way that it built a picture of victory on the inside of him. And that's what the Word of God does. It builds a picture of victory on the inside of us. I want you to know today that you have hope today because you have a Savior. You have hope today because you have a Savior that went into the Holy of Holies, poured out His blood for you, and signed and sealed and delivered a covenant for you and me that is forever settled in heaven and in earth. I want to read a scripture to you in 1 Peter, and it says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. It says, by his boundless mercy, we have been born again into an ever-living hope through the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. I'm telling you, because of what Jesus did, because of what our Savior did, you and I have an ever-living hope. Don't let the enemy, don't let circumstances, don't let disappointments put out your hope. Don't let circumstances, don't let situations, don't let the, the economy, things surrounding you to put out your hope, to put out your faith. I'm telling you, you are a world overcomer. You have the word of God living on the inside of you. And because of that, you have a faith that can overcome the world. We we'll love you and we'll see you soon.